Hey guys, I'm Bear Clark, welcome to Men's Grooming Advice. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and join the community. If you've followed me for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of the wet shave. So be that with a double-edged safety razor, or with a cartridge razor, or a straight blade, etc. I'm a big fan of that lovely feeling of putting a good cream product on your face, being to take away those hairs and leave an amazingly smooth result at the end. Sets me up for the day, makes me feel good. So today I want to look at a particular brand of shaving products called Perozo, which uh, a number of you guys have actually asked me about. Now it's a very, very popular Italian brand it's the one that pretty much every traditional Italian barbers uh, will use it's um, available as the the tube version or it's available as a tub now as you can see I've used I've tried both um, so let's see how it gets on in the bathroom how easy this one is to mix up how it feels and what I think of it so join me in the bathroom so here we have the Perozo tube as you see I've been uh, using it every day probably for about I'd say probably a fortnight now so it's lasted pretty well but I will need to order more but I think I've got about 12 or 13 others other shave creams to review so I've got cupboards full of the stuff so put a little bit of that into a mix bowl you can put it on your face straight away but I always use a mix bowl so slight moisture in the brush dig the brush in Give it a whirl. Now, first thing you notice, real soap, real bubbles. Now, the reason for that is that I have put in too much water into the brush. You see, I can actually run water out of the brush. So, before it goes near my face, I'm gonna use a bit more of the product to give the sort of rich lather that I'm used to. I'm not going to, um, yeah, I could easily just stop the film and re-edit and do it again, but there's no point because if I don't make a mistake, then how can I show you how to avoid a mistake, so to speak? Now, a lot of people who want the massive foam will look for a bowl that's got a little ridge in it because it will give it an extra aeration as you go around. But there you can see, just a minute's worth of working in the bowl, definitely worth it for a beautiful foam. So one of the questions I get asked fairly regularly is if you use a cream or um, a soap, does it really need to have a bowl? Do you really need to mix it up and put that extra effort in? Okay, we get the idea that shaving foams maybe are a bit drying on the skin and you don't like them, but what about other, you know, more premium brands? Can't you just slap that on? Well, yes, you can slap that on, but um, when you mix up a really nice cream, it is actually, let's actually show it to the camera for a change. When you mix up a really nice cream, it does actually, it feels really nice going on. It's much easier to apply. The use of a proper shaving brush is to me a must. If you're going to up your, your shaving game, I don't care whether you use a cartridge or disposables or DE or a straight blade or whatever you use. You can use a bloody carving knife, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you get a shave brush which really brings out the product and really gets it into every part of the beard. So today for speed I'm using the uh, Wilkinson Sword Hydro which is one I've reviewed elsewhere on the channel. As I might have already told you guys, I tend to use a cartridge like this, or this particular one actually, um, in the mornings before going to work, just because I need something quick. And if my 18 month old son has woken me up at 20 past four in the morning again and not gone back to sleep, then I tend to go for something that's a little more forgiving if I'm doing it half asleep. So, with this cream, um, it's it's more of a soap than a cream, but it does make into a nice creamy mixture. You don't need very much. I 
but what you get is very effective, particularly if you use a quality shave brush. Now, some people will tell you that for a shave brush, it has to be real badger. Obviously, there are people who have issues with how those brushes are made, even if it's from sustainable wildlife or whatever. I understand there's plenty of people that wouldn't want to have a pure badger brush. And if I'm absolutely honest, I haven't researched exactly how they're made. And perhaps if I did, perhaps I'd go off with badger braids as well, uh, badger uh, brushes as well. But I'm using one at the moment. And I've had it for five years, thereabouts. Um, loses a few hairs from now, now and again, but other than that, it um, really does a good job. So saying that, if you wanted a synthetic brush, there are some very good ones of that. And the one I bought, um, actually just because I've gone away and packed everything apart from my shave brush, is I bought a synthetic one from uh, the body shop. I don't think it was very expensive, probably seven or eight pounds, maybe more, I don't, haven't looked it up recently. Um, but that did a really good job and I still have it in my travel bag. It's smaller than this, so less of a foam but it works really well for the price. If I remember, I'll try and link it in the website, in the um, description below. So, second application, you can see there's still stacks of cream on here, stacks in the bowl, and that was for probably about an inch, an inch worth of, uh, of product. And yes, I know for any of the lady viewers that I've got that watch this occasionally for ideas for their boyfriends etc that um, yes I know us guys lie about an inch but I did say roughly an inch so as I say a quick shave today so I'm not going to be ultra careful there's probably real shave enthusiasts watching me doing this now thinking oh for the love of God what the hell are you doing to your neck I know I know but this is just for brevity um, for those of you who don't know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, far from it. It's a hobby that I do, I've been doing for about six months or so now. And I film from home, but I have a full-time, very demanding job in Ray Jolly. And my wife has a very demanding job as a paediatric specialist, specialist and on call and working nights etc and we have a 18 month old little boy so he gets into everything as little boy should do which means that all my filming has to be done in small windows of opportunity so if my wife goes oh we're going to take Hunter out to um, his little friend's birthday party we've been on about two hours three hours that's when I'm run around like a maniac set the studio up and film as much as I can hence why this is a little bit rushed with my shave but as far as I'm concerned, that is a beautiful amount of foam or cream, however you want to pronounce it. It went on really easily. It came off really easily. It doesn't clog the blades as much as some products do. It still needs to be wash out, obviously, but not as cloggy as others. Um, Perozo do lots of different versions. Um, they do the standard. They do, I think they do a refreshing one. They do a menthol one, which is kind of the refreshing one. They also do one for sensitive skin. Uh, that's one I'll probably try next because my skin does get a bit, a bit annoyed sometimes because of how often I, I shave. They do it in bowls. Or they do it in the um, in the tubes. I prefer the tubes because then I can add it to my own bowl and swig it around and really get the, the effect I want. But certainly Perozo, if you're looking for um, a good quality shave, which is not going to break the bank, um, is well known, well loved, well reviewed, definitely Perozo, give it a try. It's six, seven pounds or something for the tube, so it's, it's nothing. I'll try and remember to leave a link on the description below. Uh, try it guys, let me know how you get on. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. I produce new videos every single Thursdays. You've been amazing. I've been Bear Clark, and I'll see you again real soon.